Okay, this is gonna be a quick video over the concept of relative velocity in one dimension. What we're looking at, really another way to say this is, um, from point of view, that's what we're going for. So the easiest thing that we could talk about for relative velocity would be if you were in a car driving down a road and don't be embarrassed by how awesome my drawing skills are. If you were in a car driving down the road um, at 40 meters per second, which is way too fast, um, and let's say there was another car driving down the road, we'll make this the red car, and again, I'm an amazing artist, so it's okay, I understand. And that car is only going at 30 meters per second. Um, what we can do is say, let's call this car A and this car B. Uh, from the point of view of car A, car B, now when you're inside of car A and you're heading up towards car B, you don't really imagine that car B um, is going 30 meters per second. It's going a little bit slower than that. And in fact, from the point of view of car A, if you're in something's point of view, the velocity of car A is equal to zero. And here's the trick to this whole thing. Um, you, wherever the point of view is, always think you're at rest. You always think your velocity is zero. When you're in a car driving on the highway at 75 miles an hour, you feel like you're at rest and the world is moving around you that way. So to get everything from the point of view of car A, we're gonna do whatever it takes for the velocity of car A to be zero. In order to do that, we subtracted We subtract the velocity of car A. That's what we're going to do to get the point of view of car A, right? So the velocity of car B from the point of view of car A is the speed of car B 30 minus the speed of car A 40. So the velocity of car B from the point of view of car A is negative 10 meters per second. So car A sees car B moving at 10 meters per second. If you're in car A, you are approaching car B. It's as if it's moving towards you at 10 meters per second. That's how we do point of view stuff. Okay, what we're going to do is subtract the velocity of the object that we're worried about. So let's look at another example of this. We'll make it a little bit more complicated, right? Um, because that's what I like to do is make things complicated. So we're gonna have another car, again, awesomely drawn. Nope, yeah, see? See how cool that car is? Real good at drawing cars. Um, call this car A, we'll say he's going five meters per second. We've got car B. It's going a little faster, 25 meters per second. And then on the other side of the road, again, they're not going to hit each other. This is the other side of the road. Oh yeah, the wheels don't even touch the ground. That's great. We're going to have car C moving at 10 meters per second in this direction. So that's negative 10 meters per second because it's going backwards. So we've got car A, car B, and car C. So the point of view of car A, here's what we're going to do. The velocity of car A, the velocity of car B, 
the velocity of car C. I want to know how fast car A thinks all of these things move. And again, to do that, what we're going to subtract is 5 meters per second. We're going to take away 5 meters per second um, from everything. So car A is going to be the speed of car A, 5, minus that 5 meters per second. So from the point of view of car A, it's not moving, right? And that's what we want. From his point of view, we want car A to feel like it's at rest. For car B, what we're going to do is take uh, the speed of car B and subtract the speed of car A, minus 5. And so car A sees car B moving forward at 20 meters per second. It's getting away from him, but not as fast as it would be if car A were just standing still. And then car C, what we're going to do is take the velocity of car C, negative 10 meters per second, and subtract the velocity of car A, 5 meters per second. Negative 10 minus 5 is negative 15 meters per second. So what this means is car A sees car C moving at 15 meters per second towards him. Our whole idea here being that from the point of view of car A, car A is at rest and everything else is moving in accordance to that. So let's change this up and look at from the point of view of car C. Now what this means is we are going to subtract the velocity of car C from each velocity. So the velocity of car A from the point of view of car C is going to be uh, the velocity of car A 5 meters per second minus the velocity of car C, negative 10 meters per second. So 5 minus 10, sorry, 5 minus negative 10 is 15 meters per second. Car C sees car A moving towards it faster than he's actually going, 15 meters per second. And then the velocity of car B from the point of view of car C is going to be car B's velocity, 25 meters per second, minus the velocity of car C, negative 10 meters per second. That's going to be negative, sorry, that's going to end up being 25 plus 10, or 35 meters per second. He sees these things going forward that quickly towards him. So, just to kind of sum things up, an object is at rest in its point of view. To get velocity relative to an object, subtract the velocity subtract the velocity of the observer from the real velocity of the object. That's what we did here, and we'll work through some examples of that.